This slide is called hyperplasia of lactation. Just as though we said that in atrophic breasts, the glands are a lot less than the stroma, and in a normal premenopausal breast, the ratio may be 50-50, and we just saw a pregnancy uh, breast in which the glands were more than the fibrous stroma, perhaps 70-30. Now we have a breast in which you could still see preservation of the lobules, but it looks like this lobular or glandular element is about 90, perhaps more, percent of the gland itself. Here is a normal uh, breast. Notice that the ratio between these uh, lobules and the fibrous tissue is about 50-50, you know, maybe 40-60. But in the above, you still have preservation of the lobules, but the lobules are about 90% of the breast tissue. And in addition, let's zoom in on these lobules as well. Please note that not only does the glandular or lobular component comprise the vast majority of the breast tissue, but uh, most of the acini are significantly distended by this proteinaceous white material, uh, which for lack of a better word, we can call milk. This is milk distending the lobules of the breast. This is a lactating breast. I often say that uh, lactating breast is the only normal tissue I could think of besides the intermediate lobe of the pituitary in which the uh, acini are so distended they look like thyroid follicles. Uh, this is a normal lactational hyperplasia of pregnancy. Thank you.